Yes, this is a demonstrator model. Uh, we were here today for the launch, but we still weren't able to see an awful lot. I was probably about 20 metres away because this has to be shrouded in certain uh, certain level of secrecy uh, for security reasons. But uh, this has been three and a half years in the planning. There's a million man hours gone into it and £142 million pounds so far. So here to tell us a little bit more about it is the Minister for International Security, uh, International Security Strategy, sorry, uh, Gerald Howarth. What have we seen today and how important is it? We've seen a fantastic all-British un unmanned combat air vehicle technology demonstrator. That is to say it is a it's all British, uh, led by BAE Systems, uh, Kinetic, uh, GE and Rolls-Royce. And they've come together to produce this fantastic um, futuristic looking aeroplane uh, which will not have a pilot on board but will have a ground controller, highly uh, trained ground controller who will control it uh, in the air and it will be able to move fast, stealthily and deep into the heart of enemy territory. I understand it could potentially have the capability then to attack on battlefields in another continent. It certainly could, yes. Uh, it's a far-reaching aeroplane. Much of the uh, performance of it, of course, is classified. Um, but it does demonstrate that we do have fantastic skills in this country and what this program is doing is ensuring that we in Britain maintain those skills for the future.